Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Well hello everyone and welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife I'm so glad you're here If you're new, my name is Leslie You're in my kitchen right here down on our farm My husband and I have a commercial poultry farm we have a cow calf operation and of course as the title suggests my husband is a pastor and we pastor the most amazing church in Asheboro North Carolina so let me just say that we are doing fall recipes I've done several sweet dessert type recipes I've done a soup and so now we're on to a side dish y'all it is in the upper 70s today which is a lot cooler than the 90s which is where it has been and so i'm feeling like fall it's not quite fall yet but we might as well start practicing our recipes and getting them out and maybe this is something you would like to make um i've got my along with fall comes football right so i've got my sporty shirt it's not a football shirt but it's a sporty shirt on and uh, so I've got fall scenery on, on this TV. I am just all about the fall. And let me just tell you, if you haven't checked out the pumpkin whoopie pies, just search the farming pastor's wife whoop, pumpkin whoopie pies. Oh my goodness. I already know I'm gonna be making those again real, real soon. Okay, but today, Today's a savory dish. This is gonna be like a side dish. This is corn spoon bread. I don't think I've ever had corn spoon bread. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients just in case I don't get it down in the description. So go grab you a piece of paper, hit pause, run grab a piece of paper, and I'm gonna go through the ingredients with you. And then you just watch how the video goes. And, but it's, I did get this, I think it was, it's either Southern Living or Country Living magazine. Um, I can't remember, but I will find it and I'll try my best to link it down below um, so you can go check out that recipe. But like I said, go grab you a piece of paper, write these ingredients and amounts down as we go. Okay, my oven is preheating to 350 and I gotta get some dishes, some ramekins. It calls to put them in 12 ramekins. Well, I have four ramekins. <laughs> So I'm going to do four individual ones and then I'm going to put the rest in this white dish right here. Okay, so let me tell you what we're going to need. We're going to need a cup of cornmeal mix, the self-rising cornmeal mix, um, like tend to bake or, you know, one of those corn cornmeal and you want the white cornmeal. You're going to use a half a cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of butter, uh, let's see, I've lost my place. Four cups of corn. And this recipe actually called for fresh corn, but I don't have any fresh corn right now, so um, so forth. So we're gonna do uh, a fourth of a cup of chives. Now I had almost a fourth of a cup of fresh chives, so I just topped it off with some dried. <laughs> uh, you're gonna need a teaspoon of thyme, and three eggs. I don't have my eggs out and two cups of plain yogurt. Plain yogurt. Okay. All right. So I said a cup of cornmeal, a half a cup of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, four cups of corn, two cups of yogurt, a fourth of a cup of melted butter, a fourth of a cup of chives, a teaspoon of thyme, and three eggs. So let me get all my measuring utensils out we'll go through these ingredients again and um and get my eggs out and i'll meet you back right here okay so the first thing we're going to do is get you guys turned down here where you can see what i'm doing and we're going to take our dry ingredients first 
as far as um, the corn meal mix and I keep mine in a container much like this and so we need a cup of the cornmeal mix I'm gonna have to get some more of that because I had planned on cornbread maybe Sunday but maybe not we're going in now with a half a cup of all-purpose flour Okay, we're going to use a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using the Redmond's Real Salt, so if you see that there's color to it, that is why. All right, and two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, all right, I'm gonna give this a real quick whisk. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. All right, I'm gonna melt my butter and put my flour and cornmeal away and I'll be right back. Let's move on to our other ingredients and we're really just gonna pour everything into another bowl. We have our corn and I wanna be sure to get it all, I think, um, Bryant come in here and got him a spoonful of the corn while ago. <laughs> um, so now we're going to go in with two cups of plain yogurt. And I'm just going to, this is a measuring cup right here. It's a cup and I'm just going to fill it up twice. We're going to do that again. Okay. All right. There goes our second cup of plain yogurt, not vanilla. Be sure you're getting plain yogurt. All right, so to that, we're going to add, let's go ahead and add our three eggs or our butter. Let's go ahead and add our butter in there. That way I can use my dish for my eggs. Doing three eggs. And y'all, my OCD will kick in. <laughs> Gotta fix the egg carton where it's level. All right, so this egg goes in. We're just gonna get everything in there and then we'll. All right, so now we need a teaspoon of thyme. All right, let's make sure we're all there, all but the chives. Like I said, I have mainly fresh chives, but I didn't have quite enough, so I topped it off with some dried. Okay, so in here we have our corn, our yogurt, our butter, our chives, our thyme, and our eggs. So we are good to go. I'm just kind of breaking up those eggs. And we're going to give this a turn. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to take my dry ingredients... My oven is preheated to 350 right now. Um, and I wonder if some cheese would be really good in this. I'm not sure. Sounds like it would be good. Okay, so we're going in with our dry mixture. 
and we're just going to fold that in till everything's wet. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. I think this is going to be delicious. Let me wipe this up real quick. I'll be right back. I have here four ramekins and one big one. So we're going to go with the ramekins first. It said to, um, let's see here. It said it made 12 of these ramekins. Um, but I only have four ramekins. Looks like I'm gonna have to get some more ramekins. And I'm not filling these completely all the way up. Now, the ramekins, it says to cook for about um, 35 to 40 minutes. So the center one may take, the big bowl here may take a little while longer. And then again, it may not because it may be very thin on the bottom. It's not as thick. So we're just going to check everything in about 40 minutes. I'm going to use a different spoon so I can get this good and clean. All right, I'm going to finish working with the bowl, getting everything out. I'll meet you back here when we get it out of the oven. It's going in a 350 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. So while the corn spoon bread is baking in the oven, don't that, that just even sounds like fall or sounds Southern or country or I don't know. It's just such a, I love the sound of that corn spoon bread. So I did decorate my dining room table. I've showed you my living room in a past video, but now let's look at the uh, dining room. Now I do have a corner that's got some drinks and stuff stacked in it. So overlook that. There's the runner I got at Hobby Lobby. Yes, I need to iron everything. I didn't iron it. I just laid everything out to see what it looked like. Simple. I like plain, simple, not really ornate. Um, I thought that was super cute. We'll walk back in here. I'll give you a... There it is. Okay, everyone. Look my handsome husband is in hey, here. Hey, do I look different or what? Clean. He's head, actually clean and clean fresh face. shaven. <laughs> look at that, y'all. If I showed you the empty ramekins, you would know that this is already good. But um, two of them empty. <laughs> yeah. Me and me and Caroline have already gotten in them. Yep. Oh, me too. Me too. This is definitely going on my Thanksgiving table. Okay. Definitely. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. You go ahead. I'm going to check your French onion soup while you tell them what you think. Taste that. What's the thoughts? That's delicious. Hang on. That's amazing. What's that, what's that corn casserole? It's like corn casserole, but but it's not the sweet. You know, corn casserole though. is really. I I'm not a fan of it just because it's so super sweet. But um, and it's not as decent oh. packed with corn. <laughs> I'm gonna try this on top. Yo, I'm not kidding you. That, this that's is not how it's designed to go. This is definitely going on Thanksgiving table, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Um, this was so good. All right, here we go. All right, give me a tip down, Isaac. Tilt the camera down. Right, I was thinking cheese, that to add cheese on it. With sour cream, little Texas peak. Right here, let's see. I can't imagine it being any better than it was to start with. Here you go, you try it. No, go ahead. Here, try it. Try it. Here, try it. I know we're sharing spoons, we're paying 
I think I like it better without it. I think I like it better without it too. I like it better without it. It don't need anything. I'm telling you, this stuff is good. Just by itself. If there is ever a side dish that you are wanting to try to make for Thanksgiving or for some special event, it's kind of like cornbread. Um, make this. But it's, got a it's, it's a little bit more wet than cornbread, a little bit more puddingy, wet than cornbread, but um, oh, it is good. So good. So, y'all have got to give this a try. I, I'm giving it, like, I can't say it enough. This is so good. So, all right, we're going to go so they can finish eating it off camera. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.